Oh, wow. What a oh. wonderful assortment. No, 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 of no, no, no. Sorry about that. <laughs> hope people are doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. If there's anybody in chat, I hope you are doing well today. Uh, welcome to a, another stream. Uh, my name is Toru, and hopefully, because uh, it's like Monday evening for me, so I don't know what time it is uh, for you guys out there, but hopefully uh, you guys are having a lovely day, and you've had a, you know, wonderful weekend if you're back in, you know, uh, back during the week, or if you're still, I don't know, I guess on the edge of the weekend, um, then I hope you've had a lovely weekend, right? Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, for the majority of people, you know, you don't necessarily get to be able to relax for the whole week long. You know, unless you're on holiday. Unless you're on holiday. And, you know, as they say, it is the season. So, you know, maybe you are currently on, you know, Christmas break or Christmas holiday. And if you are, then I hope you're having a wonderful break. And I hope you have many more warm and wonderful and relaxing days to come during this Christmas season. So... I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit uh, introspective <laughs> at the moment, to be honest. Because there's been like a few things here and there going on in you know, my life outside of VTubing. And, you know, it's caused me to, oh, it's put me in a little bit of an introspective mood. I'm thinking about, you know, a few things going on in my life. And I'm also thinking about, you know, uh, the future, you know. Uh, into 2022 and in what my life and you know, what life in general will look like going forward and uh, <laughs> it sounds so sad to say because I'm not like I'm not upset or sad or anything like that but I don't know there, there are a few things going forward where I do feel like you know it might not necessarily be um, might not necessarily be you know like it in, in a better outcome than I am right now well, let's just put it like that, you know, there are a few things going on where, you know, <laughs> I'm a bit concerned that they may end up worse than they are right now. But that's not to say that, you know, sad or unhappy. It's like a, a lot of the things going on is just, like, you know, things that are within my scope of control. And there are things that I can do to, to improve uh, those particular aspects. So I'm hoping that next year, you know, I can put myself in the right position to have a little bit more free time. Roke, welcome. Welcome. How are you today? How are you today, Rook? Uh, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, I can put myself into, into a good position where, you know, I have a little bit more free time. I have a little bit more time to myself so that I can perhaps stream a little bit more. I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I'm hoping that I can stream more into 2022. But how are you going, Rook? How are you going, Rook? And how are you enjoying this uh, Christmas season? Because as you know, you know, Christmas is less than a week away. So... Uh, I don't know if you have time off work yet or, you know, if you're just uh, trucking along and waiting for, for the Christmas break. But, you know, if you are free, if you are um, you know, not, you know, on holiday and that kind of thing, you know, what kind of stuff are you getting up to? What kind of stuff are you getting up to? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be continuing our Monster uh, Sanctuary playthrough today. So I played a little bit, so I, just a teensy bit, just a little teensy bit. I, I played um, a little bit after the previous stream and, you know, I, I have a few other things going on right now in terms of like games and that kind of thing. Like I got into a new game called War Tales, which I'm actually enjoying a lot. And uh, it's probably the game that I'm going to be playing on Wednesday. It's called War Tales. And what it is, is like a grand, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like, how do I explain it? There was a game that came out like, Two decades ago, like 20 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, oh my goodness, almost 30 years ago, called uh, Darklands, and what that is, is like an open world RPG, um, but it's like very focused on like uh, creating an adventuring party, and then running around in like the open world, and you know, exploring and that kind of thing, um, and I, it's a basic model, it's similar to, a little bit similar to like, mountain blade warband and that kind of thing um but there is a new one called you know war tales and it looks pretty fun so far it's in early access so uh, you know it's not it's not complete yet but it looks like a lot of fun uh good started a new first egg per area playthrough of monster sanctuary nice 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 so that's what you were talking about earlier right um and the last stream you're talking about like you're, you're having like the partial nuzlocke runs so that would be this right um because 
you know, in the Nuzlocke run, the, the main two rules that, that people get caught up with is the idea that you only catch the, the first egg or the first Pokemon that you run into, and then you, um, <clears throat> you, you know, like, you only catch one Pokemon per area, and then if, you know, you, you, you lose them in battle, then you lose them permanently, right? And obviously, I don't think the, the second uh, rule is all that practical in Monster Sanctuary, but the first rule seems like it could, you know, turn out... Well, uh, out of curiosity, so this is just a little question, because when it comes to Pokemon, there's like a huge um, variety in, in, in stats and that kind of thing based on, like, you know, unique values, like individual values, IVs, EVs, and that kind of thing. Uh, does a similar thing exist in Monster Sanctuary, or are all monsters of a certain type created with a equal statistic? Because if it's, you know, because if it's the same as Pokemon where, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's dependent on the actual Pokemon itself, that might kind of get annoying, like, you know, what if you get, like, a dud monster in Monster Sanctuary, you know? I feel like obtaining monsters in Monster Sanctuary is, I wouldn't say necessarily more difficult, but, like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of time consuming because you got to run into the encounters, and then in order to, like, reset encounters you need to leave the area and come back right whereas in pokemon you can just you know keep you know you can stay in the er area eternally and then just you know uh, triggering like random battles and, and that sort of thing. But definitely would take longer in monster sanctuary to to get you know those encounters again if you're not able to get eggs the first time so you know that would that would, that would be a bit weird and I, I hope that it's not the case where you know you have to deal with that kind of not but um yeah I, i've played a little bit I got a little bit through, I don't want to even say oh, played, because it's like, I got like one room through the next area, which is like the dungeon stronghold or whatever, and I, I got like a new monster, and it's like the, the skeletal knight or whatever, but I don't know, I, I want to get to the, I want to get to the forest area, which was where you guys were saying you can come up with the, the name rater, because I want to change some of the nicknames in there. As like you know, a few of them have nicknames that you know that that I want to change, but I, I can't as of yet. Uh, all monsters are equal, but you either prioritize skills that increase base attacks or attack skills, etc. Okay, that that's fair, and I like that method, right? I like that method because it emphasizes um, like the builds that you can create with the monsters are not dependent, entire you know, not dependent on um, it's not dependent on luck right it's not dependent on luck or breeding it's just dependent on how you choose to build the monsters i think that's more fun right because with pokemon it's like it's like a combination you have you know inbuilt genetics which is the ivs and then you have the evs which is you know you can pump your pokemon up full of drugs so you determine like the ev training and all of that and then the move set and that kind of thing is also determined by the player but with monster sanctuary it seems like it's wholly determined by the player because it's based on the build and i do prefer that I do prefer that, let's just... Um, but okay, w without further ado, like, I have a few things I want to talk about, but I probably don't want to... I probably don't want to, you know, get into it right now. Um, we'll probably just get into the stream, get into the game. Because, you know... Like, <laughs> like Monster Sanctuary is a lot of fun. Um, oh, okay, but my game capture does not have Monster Sanctuary open. That. But yeah, Monster Sanctuary is a lot of fun, and I do want to make a lot of progress. So it's like one of the things that, like, you know, uh, hello, is my mouse not, is my controller not connected? There we go. Um, but it, it was like one of the things that, you know, like I want to get more progress in this game done in general because I've I've definitely noticed, and it's probably like it, it's almost like a feature of my streams at this point, right? That I tend to be fairly slow with my progress but I do want to reach a point where like I am a little bit faster I am clearing more rooms and I am getting progress because you know due to due to my scheduling and that kind of thing I don't necessarily get a whole lot of time to stream and so I want to make use of that time either by uh, you know like really getting into the meat of the games that I play or by you know doing like alternate types of streams that are you know that are I guess non-standard which is probably what I'm going to be doing this Friday for my tech review stream. So, a little bit of a shill there. Ah, Sign and Co. Welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you this evening? Well, I'm not sure if it's evening for, for... No, I think it's like... 
uh, morning for you, right? It would be around 10 to 10.30 a.m., I believe, for you. But how are you today, Sanko? How are you today? Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. I know I did mention that uh, I wanted to, to stream. I did want to stream on the weekend, but I, I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time. Um, but welcome to the stream. I'm glad to have you here today. I'm glad to have you here today because uh, I did not forget. I did not forget about the redeem, right? Because towards the end of the last stream, you had you redeemed uh, a channel point reward for like the the meme scene thing. I haven't forgotten about that. I haven't showed it off yet, so don't worry. But I haven't forgotten. <laughs> so that is in the works later. Uh, please please look forward to it. Uh, hey Toru. I knew I heard some footsteps behind me. Okay. So, Julia, looks like you're a Keeper novice now. Great. Do you, you do realize that being a Monster Keeper also means you've got some responsibility to take care of the Sanctuary and all the monsters, right? Oh, I bet everybody's already told you that. And I always put the fate of the whole Sanctuary on our shoulders since we're the Spectral Keepers. Anyway, if you've got the time, you should come to the Ancient Woods. Okay, so I imagine that's the forest map that you guys have been talking about already. Nice. Goblin tribes have been getting rowdy and there's rumors of a new Goblin King rallying the tribes. It's been almost 100 years since the last time we fought them. It was my great-grandmother who beat the Goblin King back then. Uh, yeah, the most tragic thing about the weekend was a lack of Toru Tree. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sign and Go. Um, I'm hoping that things clear up for me so that in the next few weeks and few months you know i can stream more consistently I know, I know it's a big issue i know it's a big issue with you know myself as like a vtuber or like a streamer and that kind of thing like you know lack of consistency and that kind of thing. but i'm hoping that in you know the next few months i can you know, work on some things and we'll, we'll see how we go uh, so i want to see if i can live up to her legacy and boost my rank and save the sanctuary in the process Ah, uh, well, what, what a wonderful, what a wonderful lady this Julia is, you know? She's not doing it for, you know, necessarily for her own sake. She's not doing it for selfish reasons. She wants to live up to the legacy that her family has laid for her. Uh, I can't... Uh, Sag, I'll have to attend an interview in an hour. Guess I'll have to watch your awesome creation from the VODs. Ah, I see, I see. Well, may maybe, maybe, maybe we can, uh... You know, <laughs> we can show it off a little bit before you go. But, it, you know, if you do miss it, then definitely do catch up on the bods. Uh, I will show it off before I finish the stream. Uh, can't hurt to have another Spectral Keeper around to cleave a path through the bands of goblins. So that's where I'm going. It's just east of here and through some more rooms of the Stronghold Dungeon. See you. Okay. So basically we... Wait, east? Yeah, so that's this way. So we have our, like, cardinal directions. And the idea is that, you know, I guess the, uh... The, um, the dungeon is like not that big of an area or like you can bypass a lot of it to get to the forest and, and, and the forest will be quite nice because you know as we've been mentioning before uh, we can like rename some of our monsters there okay do I have anything that has lightning uh, breaks hidden walls ah, activates lightning orbs nice 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 very cool very cool mass potion e that's pretty good. The uh, mass heal. Okay, can't wait. No. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go down here. Like, I just want to explore like... Oh, wow. That's a bigger... That's a bigger guy. That's a bigger looking uh, drummy or whatever. So what is this? What is this? It's... Um... Is this like the evolved form? Right? The, the Grulu? This is like the Cthulhu sort of inspired design, right? Um, I, I imagine, I imagine there's like some similarities, but because like, look, the Grummy is like a small version. So Grummy is like a small version of it. So what was the highlight of your weekend, Turtle Man? Oh, well, I, I had a pretty chill weekend actually. I had a, I had a pretty chill weekend. Um, so there, there were things that I had to do, right? There were things that I had to do. I had like some other commitments that, that uh, took up, you know, most of the day, um, the days. Like sat uh, Saturday and Sunday, but you know Sunday like Sunday afternoon evening wasn't too bad because you know I had like a nice family dinner and that kind of thing and I got to catch up with some people who I hadn't seen for a while, uh, so that was nice. That was nice. Uh, romantic commitments? Um, no, 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 T <laughs> no, 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 no. Turtles, turtles are made for life. So. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have a mate for life, so that that that's a no on that sign. Okay, that's a that's a no on that. But uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's good to spend time with friends. 
and that kind of thing. So yeah, I spend some time with friends and then some time with family. And I got to meet up with people who I haven't seen in a while. So that, well, that was definitely the highlight of mine. Uh, pretty sure the woods are meant to be finished before the dungeon if the game was linear. I, on the other hand, usually go all the way west after Will. Ah, all the way west. So beyond Old Buren, there's like more to that side, I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So, okay, so w wait, wait, which mons are we actually using? Oh, well, I think Kenjo is pretty good. Sign and Co is pretty powerful here as a wind monster. And uh, yeah, I like Jizaku also. Jizaku, uh, yeah, because they don't really resist grass. And I think, I think that this, uh, this combination is a bit support heavy, but I mean, it should be good enough, right? Should be good enough. So we'll start with... I think support. And, like, we can spend the first turn just buffing, right? We'll go sidekick. And then we'll go with shield. Bam. There we go. There we go. Enemy turn. Oh, man. That does so much damage. Okay, the unfortunate thing is, like, the poison. But uh, I still think it... Like, I still think it's all right. Regardless. Uh, barrier is probably still a really good idea because Jizaku is getting pretty buffed up. I think... Uh, oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. Hold on. But then we, we, we should like stack power first. Now, I probably need to spend a little bit more on, uh, on getting like the ability to get rid of debuffs, right? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I need, I need to spend more on getting like getting rid of debuffs and stuff, but like, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it is right now. So, I think, uh, probably, oh, I don't know, like air sickle if we can, if we can, if we can get the procs. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the procs. That's actually quite annoying because I wanted to, I mean, I mean, I guess like, it, it's fine. It's whatever. It's whatever. And then we can use chilling wind in the sky. Yeah, because that does a lot of damage. The only problem is that Sun and Co is actually going to get, like, demolished there. But I think we can still we can still swing it, right? We can. We can 100% still swing it. Right. My idea, uh, maybe we, we ought to heal him. Um, let's see how much damage this does first. Okay, that does less than I'd like. That, that also does less than I'd like. Chilling Wind should be able to KO, though. Yep. And then we should be able to take Fire Claws. Maybe. Depends on how many crits. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. If we had gotten like one more crit, then we would have gotten that. That's so unfortunate. Oh, well. It is what it is. We got the three star. Uh, ooh, extra skill point for Kenjo. Very nice. What's your least favorite status ailment in these games in general? I don't even know. I don't even know, Sonic. And, and the reason is because like a lot of the debuffs... I don't know. Hmm. I think that with a lot of these games, like the debuffs, I don't know. They just stack over time. So rather than like any specific thing, it's more that, you know, like it's more the ability to, to like stack, you know, the debuffs. That's annoying. So for example, like one poison debuff is fine. Like I don't care about that. But the fact that you can get like three, four, five stacks, that really hurts, right? Uh, I definitely think that would be... Uh, what I don't like. Uh, but then does... Uh, it does, uh, doesn't really... All under the effect of she... Okay, that... But that's just for him, right? That's just for him. Um... I mean... I mean, I guess getting, like, the passive isn't too bad either. But for the time being, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, get a uh, save cast. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. But yeah, I, I don't really, I'm not at a point where like I have, you know, like a debuff that I really dislike. It's more that I dislike the fact that it stacks, you know, uh, that that's how I feel so far. Choose monsters. Okay. So they're very weak against, against air. So in that case, like in that case, like these three are, are still very strong. It's more that, you know, I am very defensive with them. You know? Yes, sidekick's all right. And then maybe what I should do with Sinico is actually start attacking, right? 
Yeah. That's, uh, no crits, unfortunate. See, like, that armor break is not too annoying, right? But then it's the fact that it all stacks. That's what's annoying. Uh... No, no, no. Let, let's focus. Like, ideally, we focus down on an enemy. Yeah, that's not bad damage. Okay. And then chilling wind. Okay, cool. So we can we can at least take it out, right? Oh, solar rays. Oh no. Oh boy, I'm versus Will and I only have a rocky, fungi, and something similar to Frosty. The other three slots are unequipped fodder monsters. Oh man, that's rough. But uh Rock, th there's a good chance. There's a good chance that you'll probably uh end up ahead of me <laughs> before we finish the session today before we finish the session today you're, you're probably going to end up ahead of me so uh <laughs> don't don't go too fast <laughs> oh my goodness nah but that's 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 all right i mean like you know as long as well i mean as long as you're able to get like a good synergy with your guys oh my god kendra is like not enjoying that at all uh, unfortunate. I was hoping. Because, like, I think from memory, Rocky and Fungi are, are actually pretty good, right? They're actually pretty strong into, um, like, the, deb the, the debuffs and stuff. They're pretty good at that. Okay, good. He, he went for Sign and Co. Good, good, good. That makes it a lot easier. And now I can just focus on full-on attack. Yeah, let's go. Okay, good. Good. That's a, that's a very strong victory, I think. Only three stars. I thought it would be better. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad, though. Not bad. Ah, uh, blue caves. Okay. So that's just where we were before. Right? That's just where we were before. We don't need to really worry about that. We can just go here. And we can probably make our way down. Oh my god. Do you see? I wonder if there's a way to get through there. Can we break this wall down? Like, I, I doubt it. Like, imagine if we could, right? Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> no, I was asking for... Okay, so we're stuck there. As Sign and Co was saying... Uh, no, not Sign and Co. Uh, as uh, Rogue was saying, rather. Uh, the game does intend us to go straight into the forest instead of, like, explore too much of this place. Right? But, you know, it, it was still worth exploring, right? It's always worth exploring because, you know, this is an exploration game, right? Like, if they didn't intend for you, if they didn't intend for you to try and explore the area, then they wouldn't let you, right? Uh, okay, so... I don't know, like, Enjo's nice because he has the shield, and the shield is so nice, but I kind of want to bring... I don't want to bring... I kind of want to bring JP. JP, Kendra, and then maybe Sign and Co. And, like, we can... buff everybody with the shield. Because, like, we have Mass Restore. Like, that's so useful, right? Because it's AoE healing, and then you also get to, like, remove a debuff. So that's quite good. And then we can, like, stack our own debuffs on these guys. Right? So, you know, that's... Right, that, that's my thinking. That's my thinking. Um, I guess weakness. Like, that's probably fine. We just focus on them one at a time. Yeah, see, like, solar rays is, like, direct damage. Ow. But, you know, we can just spam shields. And we'll probably be fine. Do have anything else in that punch combo as well? Yeah, good damage. Good damage. Let's go. Then air signal. Yeah, good damage. Okay, the acid rain's gonna be annoying. But not that annoying. Because what we can do is just restore and then get rid of his debuff, right? And we can essicle and get rid of that one. Yeah, and at that point, like, you know. They're not really doing enough, so I can actually go on the offensive here, right? Uh, oh, I should have spawned first in order to get the weakness, but it's alright. Uh, air sickle. Whoa, that does a lot with crits. Uh, I guess we can try and go for crits. 
Huh. Did good. Uh, Rocky is my lack of uh, by lack of options. My healer, Fungi is my poisoner damage, and not Frosty is a chiller damage. I got no shields though, which worries me slightly. Ah, because yeah, Frosty's like I'm I'm using Frosty as like a shield bot personally, right? But uh, definitely, if you if you don't have you know the ability to, to shield up, that can quite be able to sort of get through it. Because <laughs> as we found out last stream, as we found out last stream. Will is uh, not an easy customer, right? I got absolutely blown the fuck out by our friend Will. And I'm hoping that that doesn't happen, you know, next time I fight him. But uh, we'll see how we go with it, you know? We'll see how we go with it. Uh, lightning Slash is fun. Alright, so we should just be able to chain attacks here. And then I guess we'll go for... Claws? And hope for crit spam? Then... Punch combo? All right, I was hoping to like get everybody a hit in, but it, it's fine. Okay, nearly leveled up, nearly leveled up. Yeah, but no shield is gonna be rough. Let me know how. It go <laughs> Let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes, Rock. Hopefully, it goes well for you. Up. Up. Oh, okay, that's just going for up there, but nothing for here. So the game really does hem you in. The game really does hem you in. I was, you know, earlier I was talking like, oh, you know, if the game didn't mean for us to to, to take this route, then they wouldn't, you know, hem us in. But no, you know, to my surprise, they actually do hem us in. I uh, really got nothing to complain about. Here. Whoa, what are these things? Flying... Flying beholders, right? I mean, oh, they're really ugly, but I guess, you know... I guess a beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? <laughs> okay, that that's really bad. I'll I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> right, let's just start combat. I, I like this trio, to be honest. This trio is my favorite. I, I, it's not like the the most powerful trio, but it it feels powerful. There we go. We've just completely stacked up on buffs. Okay, burn. That's gonna be really annoying. Yeah, they they've got like a, an annoying host of skills that uh we'll, we'll be able to do it. Yeah, Sonico doesn't yeah, he, uh, he doesn't have a lot here though. So I actually think that now that he's got his maybe it's best to switch. Maybe it's best to switch to JP. Yeah. And uh I guess we can go with power. Okay, that's annoying. Whoa, that did so much damage, holy shit. Okay, good good thing that I got a... <laughs> holy shit. Well, we can mass restore, so that's okay. But uh, good thing we were able to bring out, like, the, the new mod. And I, I do think that we do need to swap out here as well. Um, reason being, right? Reason being, we need more magic damage. So I think... Brokey would probably be ideal here. Sort of unfortunate because I'm letting them like run rampant on me here, right? I'm letting them run rampant, which I don't like at all. But having to reposition sort of like put me in this bad position. Because uh, I, I never, you know, I didn't... I didn't approach this properly. I didn't approach this properly. Bubble burst. Oh, that would do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We got we got enough shield that we can sort of last through this. Then you can spore your way through. No, I'd I'd rather mass restore good. Yes. Just to get rid of like the bunch of. And then we can bubble burst that one down. Ah yes, the, yes, yes, Jizaku. Exactly, exactly. All right. So. This should do pretty good damage, shouldn't it? And I think that now that we've at least taken one of them down, um, we're, we're in a good position now. But yeah, Jizaku, how, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? Um, now that does slightly more. Alright, we should be able to take it out next turn. That's not going to do a whole lot. So, we can do Chilling Wind on him. We can Mass Restore and just get rid of some debuffs. And we can... Tod no, Tidal Wave's not worth it. 
I guess Tackle is still the strongest that we can use. Oh, proc him with the poison. Very nice. Very nice. All right. And then now we can just spam. We should be good from here. Uh, which is stronger? Punch comp. And then... Oh, Mud Cannon? Like, oh. Okay. What, what procs the most? This one. There we go. Okay. That took a little while. But we did okay with it. Did okay with it. And we got a lot of level up. Yeah, we got a lot of level ups. Which is All right. Um, let's see. Let's see what people can learn now. Let's see what these guys can learn. A bit. Ah, oh, beating six. Power level two is pretty, pretty interesting. Crit damage is nice. Team play. Um, like all of these are pretty good. I think heroism is uh ah, uh, it's like. 2% extra damage for each buff. So it's like it it mm, it syncs with other with other people buffing, I guess. But yeah, how are you doing today, Jazaku? How are you doing today? Um Shield self, that's kinda nice. Non-critical hits. Oh. Oh, you you posted a link? Wait, what what's this link? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, and <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got here, though. But that only applies to self. I, I like... I like static. Static's pretty cool. Um, healing shield sounds really strong, though, actually. Because, like, if I'm if I'm using healing, like, mass restore a lot, then we'd be pretty good. At, you know, it just applies extra, extra shield, which does sound like it could be useful. Uh, power healing... I mean, that's nice, but... Not necessarily what I'm looking for. Like healing wave isn't bad. Uh Weaken might be good too. Because it's like every hit has 10% chance, right? And then that also, you know, it's like with the toxin, so. But then having healing wave is nice. Ah no, we'll just go with weak. Might not be ideal, but it's definitely ideal in my heart. I I like the I mean, like, heroism sounds like it's strong, but I don't know if I really feel it right now. Because it's like an extra 5, you know, percent damage, really. Uh, I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter that much, so. Alright, let's go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, ah. Uh, Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> no. Oh, why are you like this game? Okay, okay. Let's let's see what we can actually explore down here though. Can you just go straight down and like completely die? No, okay. There, there's extra stuff down here. Okay. Okay. Cool. See what's down here though. I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm an explorer. Ah. Okay. Wait, do they expect me to go like right back up? Alright, that's fine. Uh yeah, okay. I mean, I don't really know what the point of that one was. Womp womp. Through here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared of like what lurks below, right? Oh, there, there are there are enemies. Okay. And then that gets you back up to there. Okay. okay. That's whatever. I'll worry about that later. Let's go down. And bump him to these guys. Let's bump into these guys. Okay. So, they're weak against magic, right? So, ideally, I actually don't stack up on a bunch of guys that have physical attacks. Oh, well, the Gruulus. Yeah, the Gruulus actually is fine. 
but the mad eyes take more damage from magical attacks. So ideally, I don't even know what the crackle knight has, but I'm just going to use JP because he's got the the restoration thing going on, right? Uh, well, yeah, we'll start with shield. But how are you today, Jazaki? How are you today? Aside from uh, aside from the usual, we can spore that one. Yeah, okay, and then we can. I guess bubble burst is fine. Yeah, we proc the poison too. Oh, unfortunately, we're getting like a ton of shock, but that's not too bad. Simply because you know, I can uh, JP can use mass restore and get rid of those debuffs. That's nice. Then we can get rid of this guy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, spore. It's chilling wind. And I think, yeah, bubble burst. Alright. That mass restore. That should be good, sir. Uh, yeah, like. What, what, sorry, it's just like something that I've been... Right, for, for a second, like... For a second, I had to think, right? And and yes, you know, thinking is like a necessary part of living, right? But like, today's Monday, isn't it? <laughs> today's Monday, isn't it? This whole time, I thought like today was Tuesday. So I was actually a little bit off on like, you know, how I was thinking. Um, with regards to like, you know, uh, my plans for this week. And so I was like a little concerned, you know, I was a little concerned that, uh, yeah, cool. Nice. Oh my God. That mod cannon sounds so off. That mod cannon sounds so off. Like, <laughs> right. We got some levels, which is, yeah, I was actually a bit concerned that like, you know, uh, my tech stream on Friday is not like fully planned out yet or like not, not fully done yet. Like the background assets and everything. And I'm thinking, oh shit. You know, I've only got a few days. I've only got a few days, but, uh, no, I'm actually not too bad off because today's Monday, Monday. I kept, I kept thinking today was Tuesday. I'm thinking today was Tuesday. Uh, took until infinity times three versus will three poison three chill one weakness stacks. Potential is a great lockdown team early on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job, bro. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely much better off than, uh, than what I was doing. <laughs> So nice, nice, very nice. Okay, so the fact that Cyan and Co can actually get sidekick on two monsters means that like support sort of overshadows what Jazaku can bring to the table, but I mean it's not too bad. Um uh, uh, I like the long slash, I like the AoE stuff. I mean, call me a sucker, because I may maybe all of that is garbage, but like I like the AoE stuff. I can't help myself, you know? I can't help myself. Uh, we should try and get some magical damage. Oh, we do. We have the lightning bolt, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we've got the shocking slash. Wait, that's... This is physical damage. Alright, so I guess... I mean, lightning slash? Still physical. Um... This one. What do we got here? I mean, I guess we'll just go with Arcane Bolt and then, like, unlock this side of the tree. Yeah. Why not? It's probably a bad idea, but I don't really care that much. Ooh, save point. Nice. Well, not a save point necessarily, but, like, you know, a, a travel point. Wait, that's where I was before. Anything through here? Right. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, you'd probably need to, like, come from below, right? In order for that to work, you need to go through below. Yeah, but congrats on the, on the victory, Rogue. Congrats on the victory. This is so spooky, like, jumping down, like, to this extent. It's like, oh my god, where do I go from here? Uh, okay, okay. Alright, that's fine. Ah, fuck! No! Oh, okay. Whatever. 
<laughs> Whatever, it worked out, it worked out. But I just die here, don't I? Do I just die here? Because, like, I can't get up anywhere, right? Oh, no, I'm actually... Oh, I'm okay. Ooh, seahorses. All right, let's see what these things are. Uh, Toxicus. Okay, nice, nice, nice. They're, they're, they're weak to... They're weak to wind. So definitely... I mean, my usual three are pretty good here, right? Usual three. So we go shield. And I guess we... Like, team play is pretty good. And we can support as well. I know I'm using, like, my first turn to buff, but... I really wish I had a debuffer. I guess I need just a better balance. I probably just need a better balance. Uh, and air sickle is fine. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. That's pretty solid. Uh, and chilling wind. Nice, nice. We're able to get the final proc and get the KO on that one. Nice. Yeah, I guess this is just like a battle of like, who dies first, right? Because I'm eating some pretty heavy debuffs. I'm eating some pretty heavy debuffs. Uh, I, I'm hoping for some crits. Okay, good. That, that actually turned out really well. Oh, we were so close in the KO on that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have much. Alright. Oh, he's pretty strong. That is pretty strong. Like, is there like, um... I guess I can just remove a couple of debuffs. Uh, probably shield. Yeah, okay, cool. And then now I can just focus down, I guess. Unfortunate that this doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Okay, what, what's strong against this guy? Oh, I wasn't even really paying attention, and I know I, I should have been. To be fair, I should have been. Uh, nah, definitely fire. Wait. Yeah, fire cool. The chilling wind. Okay, so it's just magic damage, really. That's alright. And I need more magic damage, but... What can you do? What can you do? Like, my other mons have some good magic damage, but this should KO. But that's fine in the end. Okay. Gotta level up on Kenjo, which is nice. But what can we do for him? What can we do for him? Gets two random buffs. Ah. Uh, like, if I can get some, like, removing debuffs, that would probably be ideal, right? Like, that's that's what I'm looking for. If I can just get some, uh, removal of debuffs. Went under the effect. Like, that's pretty good. Sheltered, but that's like a personal. I think just being a shield bot is good enough for now. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous as to where, like, I'm going. Right? Because, like, these dungeons are sort of like... I don't know. There's just like... Ah! There's like a lot of, uh... Ooh, dungeon hole key. Nice. Two keys. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna use one key on this, I guess? No, I guess... Yeah, none of your keys fit. Okay, so we're not going to use it on this. That's fine. Alright. So I... Considering that we can, uh... Oops. Considering... That we can... Oh, fuck. Alright, whatever. Considering that, you know, we got the two dungeon keys, like, the exit is probably this way, right? Ooh, more of them. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine with this group. That's definitely fine with this group. 
And then now we're really receiving like a decent, right? We're really receiving like a decent amount of a decent amount of a uh, of of box on the first turn. So it does start to like stack up. The main thing is that like I don't know. I, I wish I had the ability to like you know remove uh, remove debuffs. That would be, be the absolute idea. Should KO. Nice. Ah, nasty. All right, we'll just give everybody a shield. And Essicle, Essicle. Nice. Should be able to KO from here, I think. But I hope I hope we do. Yeah, we should. All right, good. Oh, we got the egg. Nice, nice. We got the egg. Very, very cool. All right, so <laughs> we've we've got the egg, guys. But who do we name it after? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna hold on to the egg for a little bit longer because I don't know who to name it after. Uh, maybe if we find like you know, oh shit, shit, shit. Maybe if we find, you know, more people coming into the stream and that kind of thing. Oh, nice! You can just, like, run out from there. Very cool. Looks like we're trapped in a puzzle of sorts. Wait, are we? Are we trapped in a puzzle? We came from down. We can just come back. The only way out of this part of the dungeon is through this room. We'll have to solve this puzzle. Oh, God. I'm so bad at puzzles, though, guys. I am so bad at puzzles. Okay, no, that, that didn't do it. Oops. All right. Now that one has to stay open, right? And then that opens up the door there. And then what if we do this one? <laughs> Puzzles are hard. Puzzles are very difficult. And if we do this one, everything just shuts down again, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't really know how to get out of this if that's the case. There has to be something that I am missing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> There's probably something big that I'm just missing, but I don't know what it is. Because, like, these ones control those ones. Yeah, see, like, these ones only control those ones. And then these ones only control these ones. So it's like, nothing I do... Unleashes that one up there. Then you can get this one, I guess. So maybe that's it? Surely not, though. Like, that's not the only difference. Is it? Oh. Okay, so this one does those two up there, at minimum. These ones, they undo the same ones though. Then these ones do the ones at the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's too much for me. I'm, I'm a dumb turtle. I apologize. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'm just going to go in this direction and hopefully it will lead me to the exit. Wow. Magma Chamber. I'm pretty sure this is not the intended like. Oh! 
I was so close. I was so close. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Mmm, how do we do this one? Hmm. Uh, wait, can we... Magma Chamber level 21 area. Ah, okay, wait, hold on. Can we... No, we can't. I was thinking, like, could we outrun that? If it's a level 21 area, it's uh, definitely not intended for me. Definitely not intended for me. Right. How do we... All right, so there is definitely something to that, but I'm going to try and go back because I do know that there's unexplored area that uh, I haven't, you know, gone ahead and done yet, right? So, there's like unexplored area in this dungeon that I haven't done yet. So, I do want to see uh, what I've been missing out on, right? That's unfortunate. Because, like, I took that big drop to go all the way down. But there's like a huge part of like the stronghold area that I haven't exactly uh, gone ahead and looked at. Also has my favorite monster. Ah, we'll, we'll be looking forward to that when we uh, when we get to see it. Oh, but that's the thing, right? I dropped down here, so like I can't even I can't even get back up unless I go to like unless I use the scroll that allows me to get back to the sanctuary, and then I just take like the teleport from there. But otherwise, the game wants me to solve the puzzle. Oh no. Oh no, I can't think of it. I'm, I'm too slow. Too slow. Oh no. Oh no. Th th this is actually... <laughs> I hope you guys are ready to be here for like the next, uh... The next two hours. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so, what exactly, like... And then, like, if we just do this one... Then if we just do this, it'll, like... Is this the intended idea? No, because this is just the same as what it was before, right? Oh, Sora, thank you for the stream. Thank you for the stream. How are you doing? How are you doing, Sora? How did your stream go? I know that you were playing a little bit of uh, Stardew Valley. Just give me a second and let me shout you out. Um, but welcome, welcome Raiders. My name is Toru. I am a turtle VTuber. And uh, I'm currently playing a little bit of Monster Sanctuary. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing like a puzzle right now. And I think it's like, it, it's too much for me. My brain physically, physically cannot handle the idea of, you know, any kind of puzzle that takes any, you know, like, <laughs> there's a reason. There's a reason, guys, that some turtles live for over a hundred years. And that's because there's like puzzles and little questions that they're asked. And then they think on it for a really, really long time. And uh, it takes them that long to actually come up with the answer. And so I'm really stuck at that kind of a uh, conjunction at the moment. So <laughs> I'm probably just going to give up and uh, make my way back. Where was it? Make my way back to the Keeper Stronghold and then uh, teleport myself to a, to, a, to an easiest... A Toru is a hag? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So that may be... Um... <laughs> Maybe not that kind of hag. <laughs> All right, but but no P puzzles are difficult puzzles are difficult. So we'll go to here Which is like the um the crystal in in this area, right? And we're gonna like try and explore a section that we haven't done so yet because we went through and went on a specific path but uh oh, I don't think you can even I don't think it even does anything does it? Ooh, You're lucky. That's the one skippable puzzle Oh my god. I, well, I hope I figure out the, the secrets to... Um, you know, I hope I figure out the secrets on how to skip it. 
I'll, I'll just say that much. I'll just say that much, Broke, because, uh... Because <laughs> I'm not doing too well with these puzzles. They're, they're a little bit difficult, you know? A little bit difficult. I try my best. I try my best, but alas, I am but a humble turtle. Now, I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I've already been up here, but I can see there's like unexplored area up top. So I'm going to try and make my way there and see what we can do with that. But yes, definitely uh, nothing wrong with... Uh, nothing wrong with skippable puzzles because that's... <laughs> Because the only thing that skips, right? The only, the only thing that skips is like the, the wheel in my brain. I, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I was smarter when it came to puzzles, but it, it's a little bit difficult. Please be patient. Please be patient. I, I don't know. I'll <laughs> we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to, to jump down all that way, but like this is still okay. Because I'm still in reach of this thing, right? Um, right, there was that. Wait. You like. There. Go. Turtle, you go through the puzzle like hasty hair flipping through switches with abandon. Patience, turtle. Oh, I don't know about that. Patience is a is a difficult thing. Patience is a difficult thing. Well, I guess that's like how you get back up to there, right? But, uh, oh, I, I really don't want to make like the descent, right? I do not want to make the descent, but I think it, uh, it might be, might be necessary. Okay, cool. Cool. We do have a thunder user here, right? So we can't activate this orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's all it did? Okay. Okay. Ah! We did skip it! Nice! We did skip it! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my goodness. I can't believe how I can't believe how relieved I am that I don't need to do the puzzle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're now in the ancient woods, guys. We're now in the ancient woods. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh my goodness. What a relief. <laughs> oh my goodness. And how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I am now feeling an intense, an intense amount of relief, right? For me personally, for me personally. Nice! So that's how we cut through that. And then we can skip that area, because I imagine those spikes would just kill you, right? So, I guess a way to go through it, like hopefully we don't lose too much progress, but I imagine a way through this is just to jump once and then use like your bird. Uh, to carry you, right? Oh, no, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah! I, I, I want to, like, get the right perfect jump, but I don't think it does work. Oh. <laughs> there, we there we go. That's the... That, that was, like, the perfect jump that I was looking for. That was the perfect jump that I was looking for. Okay, and then now I can get teleported back to the other side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I die. <laughs> nice. Nice. On that note, Crackle Knight was my dungeon egg. Ah, nice. Crackle Knight's pretty cool. Crackle Knight's really... I don't know. Like, there, there, are, there are other monsters, obviously. Like, I do like crack. Ah, I do like Crackle Knight. Ooh! What are these? These are like... Mole bears. Interesting. And a Nightwing. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Some new monsters. Let's go. All right. Um, definitely go with Kenja. I think, I think Croaky would actually be fairly powerful here. And then we can sink him with Sign and Co. So there we go. All right. Yeah. Cause like we can ice hail, but shield seems pretty powerful here. I, I want a bear. I want a bear. I'm letting you guys know right now. I want a bear. <laughs> oh, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, uh, but Bob Burst doesn't really do that much either. All right. Now we can use Tidal Wave. Ooh, we proc weakness. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, he's got some buffs too. All right, let's go. Let's go. Tidal wave is fine, but I do want to see if... Ooh, fire claws does a heap. It's bat. For me, not the bat. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah, having AoE attacks, for, for me personally, right? For me personally, I do like having the AoE attacks. And now Shield's at a level where spamming it actually, like, is incredibly powerful. I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, with, uh, with how it is right now. Very nice. Nice. Got the poison too. Very good. Yeah, because, if, like, if you look at the physical damage, they can't keep up with, like, the amount of damage that my shield does. So I'm pretty happy with that. Nice. Oh, so close. That's fine. That's fine. I just hit it with the fire claws. Yeah, see? Look at that. Like, he can't really hit you. Chill, debuff. Right. And... Yeah, bubble burst. Uh, slash? Claws. Claws should be fine. Yep. Okay, cool. Good win. No eggs, unfortunately. But, I mean, you know, that's fine. That's fine, right? Uh, okay. This is the bottom floor. So there are two ways up there. But we'll just go the... We'll just, we'll just go the normal way. Whoa! Okay, darkness! Oh, okay. That's new. Can you go anywhere? So this is like a dead end? Like, looking on the... Looking on the map, it looks like a dead end, right? That's... Okay, that's new. <laughs> that's new. Ah, oh, shit. I've gone there. This is the way forward. Go up through here. And... Uh, then up through here. Okay. Some more bats and another mole bear. So, let's go. One, two, three. Shield up. And... Uh, like, tidal wave is nice, but it's also not the... Maybe preserving our mana is okay. The thing is, like, the mole bear does a lot of physical damage, so it's not even that strong into everything else I do. So I think just mud cannon into the into the night wings are fine. We got the poison props. Nice. You see, like the they like they do a lot of physical damage, but like, you know, it's like it's all physical damage. And we. Oh, Claws would do a lot if it crits. Nice. That was crit. And then we can just heal up this guy. Yeah, nice. See, because at this point, like, the shield is, like, a huge, huge detriment. Like, they, they actually struggle to get past the shield. Uh, just to guarantee the KO. And then we can shield up a bit more. And... Burst. Blood cannon. Yeah, see? Yeah, it really... It actually does help a lot. It actually does help a lot. I mean, we, we could even do that, you know. Just to give ourselves, you know, some, like, extra, extra buffs. Ah, uh, okay, the poison got him. Very good. Do the puzzles give you anxiety? Like, I can get claustrophobic from, uh, from parking in a full parking lot. Um, I, I don't, I wouldn't say that it has, like, a, a physical effect on me, Rogue. It's more that, um, like, I don't know. Like, with regards to puzzles, it's like, I actually don't have too much of an issue with them. It's more that, like, trying to do them on stream, I kind of, like, overthink everything right and so i think it's just like it's the idea of um it's the idea of doing like the puzzles while on stream if that makes sense uh that that's probably what phases me out more than anything but like like the idea of doing puzzles in themselves doesn't really phase me that much oh we got the egg we got the egg yeah, it's just that, like, when I stream, and I think that, like, a lot of people who do stream maybe can attest to this, that, you know, my, my IQ gets cut in half every time I go live. So, uh, I think it's just a combination of streaming while uh, doing the puzzles 
makes me tend to overthink things and you know i get overly nervous and, and that sort of thing but like oh shit <laughs> but i don't think that the puzzles in themselves give me uh too many issues right uh, hopefully hopefully that like, sort of explains it ah hopefully that explains it a little bit better rogue <laughs> but no the the full parking lot thing right oh my goodness fine so oh. fine with that ah. samurai um, but with regards to, like, the parking lot stuff, um, I think that's, you know, I, I don't, that's not something that I suffer personally, right? But, oh my god, that looks difficult to cross. Holy cow, how do you cross this? Okay, okay. Okay, we can do it. We, we can do this. We can do this. Maybe. Oh, first try. Too easy. Too easy. I'm getting so overconfident over like one small victory after like the game has just been like demolishing me for the longest time. Ah, <sighs> okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm okay with the, how events are currently occurring. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, <laughs> why did I have to say anything? Why did I have to say anything? Oh, I don't have to open my stupid mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but like with the parking lot thing, right? I think that like my my car is like, I don't know, it's like, it's like fairly small. So I don't have any personal issues with like, you know, parking and like, um, you know, like a full parking lot, but definitely I can 100% understand if you have like a larger sedan or like maybe like a four wheel drive or something like that. And then you, you're like going to like the, like the, the city parking lots, right? You know, parking lots that are not just out in like an open field or like an open area, but you know, parking lots that are like built into a building because there's very little, you know, room for error. In those places so for example if you're staying at a hotel right if you're staying at a hotel oh my god we got we got some good procs up there if you're staying in like a hotel and then you know they have like you know parking built into the hotel and that kind of thing you know like the way that they're designed it's because you know they need to be space optimized so they don't leave a lot of room for error and so i can definitely understand how that can be sort of nerve-wracking uh and that kind of thing right because yeah like it's not just like the idea of being claustrophobic, which definitely can happen, but it's also the idea that like there's so little room for error that, you know, any, like any, like really, you know, like any bad move could really get you in trouble. And I've, I've definitely had feelings like that before. Um, you know, they're not too strong because again, like I've been saying, like the car that I drive is, you know, not all that bad. I don't have too much of an issue driving but yeah in the past i have been in like some you know parking areas and then I'm, I'm just looking at like the situation i'm thinking wow you know there's really not a lot of room to move and it makes you uh really hesitant to to want to go through there and so like in in the place where i'm at in the city where i'm at um you know it's highly recommended that if you want to go to the city um you know and spend some time you know out on the town or you no know, one thing that i did um one thing I did like a while ago, right? One thing that I did a while ago was that I went to like a convention center, to, like attend, you know, like a like a, a specific like gaming convention, right? And and this was a while ago. This was like this was before COVID. I, I do have to specify that, right? We haven't had like any like live events happen recently, but yeah, well, we had something happen like a long, long time ago. And even though I did have the capacity to drive and, and, and that sort of thing, it was definitely much more convenient for me to, to just take the train, you know, take the train, take public transport, because I don't want to deal with, you know, the nonsense of like parking within the city. So like, while it doesn't give me claustrophobia, it really is just a huge hassle. And I 100% understand if, you know, that's something that can give you a little bit of nerves, right? But yeah, def definitely empathize, definitely empathize with you. Um, might need to do some off progress. Uh, sorry, some some game progress off stream. Oh, is is there like a lot of puzzles then? Is there a lot of puzzles? That that may be an issue. That may be an issue going forward. But uh, I'm hoping that it's not. You know, fingers crossed it ends up okay. Like, pretty pretty solid there. Pretty solid. Now we got a few. We got actually a lot in the team that can level up now. So sign and co. 
know, this powerful kitty. I think level, level like, sidekick for, for multiple party members is pretty cool. Um, I do like precision because then you can, like, stack crit damage along with, like, crit chance. And then with something like long slash, right? Because that's a multi-hit. So, it says your first hidden of ability. And since this is only a one hit, I imagine, like, you get the crit on all of the hits. Maybe I'm wrong. But that would be pretty nice. So I'm going to see if it works. I'm going to see if it works. It's, pro it's probably a wasted skill point. But, uh, <laughs> but we'll see how we go with it. You will see how we go with it. Yeah. Let it not be said. Let it not be said that Toru did not try new stuff, even if it's, uh, even if it's wildly suboptimal. Hey, at least I gave it a shot. You know? At least I gave it a shot. I like the idea of heroism, but I don't know if I can stack enough buffs to make it worth it. Ah. Uh... <sighs> Uh, we'll just go. We'll, we'll just go with air sickle. We'll just go with air. Like that's that's probably safer, right? That's probably safer because it's elemental. Elementary. Every hit has a chance to apply weakness. Is pretty good. Uh, when applying a buff, also heal the target. Like that's pretty useful. But then, what buffs can this guy actually apply? Not a lot, to be honest. I think. I think this one, like the static non-critical hits, deal twenty percent more damage. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Because it's like... It's like a 20% damage buff if you don't crit. And his crit chance is only 10%. So it's like 90% chance. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at maths. <laughs> um, uh, but then we could... Like, we could increase support moves. Eh. I don't really need that much support. Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll just use that. I, I like the idea of that one. Um, what about you, Mr. Knight? Crackle Knight. I mean, I guess we can just increase, like, the arcane magic damage. That should be fine. And then defense proc next. Uh, besides the woods, there's two other areas with mandatory puzzles. I can remember. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, well, you know what? You know what, Rogue? I hope for, uh... I, I hope, right? I hope you're, um... <laughs> I hope you're prepared for, like, you know, five hours of me just, uh, wandering around. <laughs> Uh, leveling up an attack buffs the attack's damage by like 25%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's why it's pretty handy. It's pretty handy, Jizaku. Um, healing skills. I mean, that's pretty good. Mana overload. And those are good, but they, they don't they do not do anything about debuffs, which is kind of like an issue that I have. Healing actions trigger an additional heal on the monster with the lowest passive health. This would sync well with uh, with healing wave. Right? Because, like, then it, it procs, like, an additional heal. So I guess the idea would be to get Healing Wave first, and then get this one after. Alright, here we go. Yeah, but... It's, like, another thing that I did note... Unfortunate, unfortunate. Another thing that I did notice, Jizaku, was that it's not just that, like it improves, like, the damage by 25%. It's, like, a lot of the times, it's, like, it improves the damage by giving it an extra hit, which is, like, useful for combos and that kind of thing. Um, and, and then, obviously, because it's, um, like, a lot of the damage in the game is, like, hit-based, you know, then, like, it chains in terms of, like, crits and everything like that. They get a lot more procs and everything. But, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're, you're the person that's actually beaten the game, and I'm the person that's maybe, like... <laughs> I'm maybe 10% into the game. I'm maybe 10% into the game. So I shouldn't be the one lecturing you on this sort of stuff. You know, like you already know all this. <laughs> Alright, let's let's attack these guys. Let's attack these guys. Because I got a... Did I get a Nightwing? I think I already got a Nightwing. But I, I want more of these guys. I want more of these guys. I think... Um... They're weak to fire. But I don't really have anything... With, uh, like You got Sign and Co. But it's like... I mean, Kroki is probably the best so far. Like, th this this trio is pretty solid. The only thing I wish is that, you know, if uh, if we had, like, the ability to cleanse buffs, that would probably be, like, the ideal state. Okay. Uh, we'll take out the... Ooh, good, good, good side prop. Yeah, yeah, see, like, because they're doing physical damage, a lot of it just gets absorbed by the shield. I'm pretty happy. Just smack that thing out. Oh, so close. Unfortunate. That's fine. 
<laughs> that mud cannon. <laughs> that mud cannon sound effect is so nasty. Ooh, he uh, Kroki did a good. You know, he uh, he covered for uh, Sun and Co. There, very nice, very nice, very team oriented. Yeah, see, it's like, it's like a twenty five percent chance, right, to to cover for for your allies. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. Then... You can just do this. Nice, we've got poison in. Okay. And then I think the idea is like, you get like the weakest attack to hit last. I don't- I don't- I don't know the- I don't know the logic behind it. That's what- I remember you guys were saying that before, so I'm gonna try it out. And I'm gonna try it out. So like, strongest attack first. Am I even gonna KO this turn? I don't even know. Uh oh, I'm not gonna KO this turn. No, I don't do enough damage. Strongest last Toro. Okay. Okay, well, that, that'll be relevant next turn, Jazaku. It won't be relevant this turn. So, no problems here. No problems here at all. Uh, there we go. There we go. Strongest last. <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. No egg. No egg. I was hoping for some eggs. Uh, you know, unfortunately this morning, morning we are not going to have ourselves the continental breakfast. No eggs. Uh, the monster gets two random buffs when an enemy monster is uh, KO'd. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, when applying a buff, your shield... I mean, like, that's good too, but, like, it doesn't apply that many... Uh... Ice hail... I mean, I'll, I'll, Chilling Wind is, like, pretty good in general, so I'll just increase that, right? Because, like, Chilling Wind I've been using quite a lot. The logic is that your combo multiplier is building throughout your turn, and by the time your last unit acts, the multiplier is at its highest. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I see, I see, I get it, doesn't get it at all. <laughs> No, but okay, okay, Jisaku. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, are you going for the British breakfast instead? Oh. <laughs> That's a good one, Sanika. That's a good one. Because I'm not going... Yeah, I'm not going for the, the intercontinental breakfast. So I'm definitely... I'm definitely going for, for the breakfast across the pond. You know? <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Uh, fudge for dinner. If you can ask Canada. Oh, yeah, maybe, you know. You know, you have to have like a... A healthy meal of fudge, right? Maybe a little bit of mixed fudge, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> what? This is like a cursed pseudo wudo. Wait, hold on. This is like um, ah, oh, it's like Trevenant and pseudo wudo, but cursed. All right, hold on. I'm gonna run into this guy. All right, let's go. Let's go. Magma pillar, magna moth, and a druid oak. So, wait, this druid oak. This has to be like the evolved form of JP, right? Like of of the Rocky. And then Magnamoth is like the evolved version of Magma Pillar. Like to me, that makes sense. And uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna be leveraging. I mean, Kendra is still strong here because he's resistant against fire. Um, ah, oh, Croaky might be weak here actually. So I guess we'll just go Sign and Co. And I mean. I guess Jizaku is fine. Jizaku is fine. Execution on the point screen after battle is also representing the damage dealt on the executing turn. Ah, okay, okay. Well, that makes sense, right? And so, so the game is really oriented towards like, um, you know, taking out your enemies and like, like taking out, you know, going all out to finish the battle, right? I guess that's what it's oriented to. Oh wow, he's got quite a lot of shit going on there. That's big damage, what the heck? This magma moth is, uh, scary. Okay, okay. If that's the case, you know, I've gotta, I've gotta go all out on this thing. That magma pillar did so much damage. Right. Ah, that's nasty damage. Uh, actually, no, not JP's evolved. Neat guess though. Oh, okay, interesting. 
<laughs> to me, it looked like it was like, oh yeah, it's obviously the evolve, but I guess not. No, oh, that's fair, that's fair. Should I heal this turn? No. <laughs> no, I'm just going for it. I'm not gonna heal, I'm going for it. Relying on crits. Oh, well that kind of paid off. Because I'll be able to KO it next turn. Alright, so we do need shield. We do need to get a bit of shielding up. And I think Claw... Well, uh, Essica would be good here. Oh, so close. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, getting all of these debuffs are annoying. Don't get me wrong, but I mean... We should be fine. And then we'll we'll take it out next turn, right? We'll take it out next turn. Um, we already have power, right? We already have power, might, suck generation. So like, I've already got like all the all the buffs that I need. So we'll just go with it. Alright, that's fine. So weakest first, strongest last. So one eighty does less. Then. Beating. Then. What's stronger? 240. Ah, oh, 260. Yeah, okay, cool. Here we go. Two. Okay, well, that, that did take a while. Oh, but we got the cocoon. Very nice. Nice. And we got some bronze as well. Hell yeah. Okay, no levels, unfortunately. But you know, I'll definitely take that. And we, we got a couple of cocoons, right? Ooh, this goes back into the dungeon, eh? Wait, this is like this is like higher up in the dungeon. I haven't been here before. Ooh, two bronze. Alright, I'm gonna skip those knights for the time being. I'm gonna see like what else can I actually explore here. Right, it doesn't seem oh. Uh, oh, you see that? See those evasion skills? Just cause I'm a Oh, okay. This was like right next to yeah. Just because I'm a turtle. Doesn't mean I don't have those sick reaction skills, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So we go back into the forest. And we'll try and find our way to, like, a friendly area. Right? And I imagine, like, the closest friendly area is going to have our, um... What do you call it? Is going to have, like, the, the name raider or whatever. So that I can, like, nickname the monsters. Because... <laughs> Because that's like my goal this entire time this entire time like my goal is not to necessarily level up and get stronger My goal isn't to like, you know, do the main story. No My goal is to rename my monsters <laughs> So that I can get some you know, so I can get some more matching names, right? Because we have like Ayla star who's like a slime Right, and then we got Gramp slime in the in the chat who's been in the chat before rather and like he's not even a slime like come on you know, like, I need to get my shit together. Right? Because the, the, you know, it's not just my uh, puzzle-solving skills that are slow. It's also my naming skills. I need to get better with them. I definitely need to get better with them. On the other side here. Because this was on the other side of, uh... On the other... Ooh. Oop. On the other side of where I was before, right? Here we go! Here we go! There's a new Goblin King in the ancient woods. I've seen him! With my own eyes. His band surrounded me and they harassed me with their strange goblin language. I was so scared. I ran and stopped only when I reached this place. Someone's got to teach these goblins a lesson. You're a spectral keeper, aren't you? You should take care of them. This goblin king is probably hiding up in the forest. Goblin fort. Sorry. Forest. Ah. A goblin fort east of here. Defeat him and the goblins will see what's what. Maybe some of my wares will aid you against those goblin ruffians. Hey, hey, you know what? You know what? This guy deserves to be a traveling salesman because at the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, he does not miss a good chance to sell some of his wares, right? This guy was nearly killed and he was, you know, harassed and chased by the goblin king and he just got out to safety. You know, he's tired. He's worn down. He's probably lost half of his, you know, half of his items because he's been chased, right? And at the end of the very day, right, he's trying to tell people of his situation and he goes, Hey, you know what? You need to beat the Goblin King. And you know what? 
In order to beat the Goblin King, why don't you take a look at my wares? You know, what an enterprising individual. So just for that, I'm going to take a look at what he... Oh my god, this guy's kidding himself. I don't have this kind of money. Excuse me? You know, just because you're, you know, a merchant that's out in the middle of nowhere doesn't mean that you have the right to rip me off with these prices. Like, excuse me? 3,000 gold for a bow? I only have 3,014. And, and like, if you look at the damage, it's not really worth it either because it's only 35 physical, 30 magical. Ex like, who do you think you are? You know, just because you're on the verge of death doesn't mean you need to put me into bankruptcy so that I end up on the verge of death. Like, that doesn't get us anywhere. Merchants, man, merchants. All right. <laughs> A level badge might not be bad. Like, wait, can we can we buy multiples of these? Because if that's the case, I can just... Well, like, you don't need them in this game, right? Because, you know, everything sort of, like, scales up, I guess. Like, when you hatch new eggs, they scale up. Um, but... <laughs> like, you could use these to cheese, right? If you wanted to. If you wanted to. I didn't say that I would. All right. We, we, we got the nice save spot, though. That's, like, that's really important. That's really important. And, um... What was this guy's name again? Leonard, I think it was. Maybe not. Keeper of the tree. Some monsters that you find in the sanctuary can change into a completely different form. Would you like to know more? Yes, yeah, sure, why not? In nature, this occurs through the lengthy process of metamorphosis. However, the tree of evolution can speed up the process. You only need a certain item to make a monster evolve. A catalyst. Each monster with an evolution needs a different catalyst. Present the monster together with the catalyst at the Tree of Evolution to change its form. However, be warned that your monster will lose many of its abilities and features on evolution. Generally, an evolved monster is stronger than before, but you might not like the changes. So, it's absolutely okay not to evolve your monster if you don't want its abilities to change. Sometimes, keepers will come to me and bring me catalysts that they've found. They have no use for them. There's no reward in it. Those keepers just want somebody else to get something out of it. Usually, I don't even know exactly which monsters these catalysts are for. So it'd be interesting to see someone figure out which monsters can evolve thanks to these catalysts. You travel a lot, don't you? You must see a lot of different monsters across the sanctuary. Recently, somebody came by and gave me this magical clay. Okay, I can give you a small hint at least. This clay is from the same river as the monster that needs it to evolve. It said that if you rub the monster's back with this clay, it grows into a large dragon-type monster. Okay, so, I don't know, maybe that's going to be like a legendary monster, Pokemon, whatever, but, uh... <laughs> I, I don't think we need to evolve anybody right now. You know, like, everybody does look like a first-form evolution, except for Croaky, which looks like a second-form evolution, and yes! Even though this game is nothing like... Well, even though this game is not Pokemon, I'm still going to compare everything to it. D deal with it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, Keeper of the Tree. This is the Tree of Evolution, the most important monument of the Monster Sanctuary. Would you like to know about the history? No, not really. Not really. I'm not a historian. An individual monster's name! Here we go, the monster renamer. Let's go. Okay. Is that a teal-colored ghastly? No, no, Setsu, no. Welcome to the stream, by the way. How you doing today? How you doing today? But, uh, no, that's not a teal-colored ghastly. That's a teal-colored uh, teal Kenjo. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright. If you like, I can change one of your monster's nicknames. Well, I mean, surely they don't limit you to, like, one monster, you know, nickname change, right? So, what were we gonna do, right? First one was... It wasn't Croaky. We needed to change it to Roke. Right? And that was like the main change, right? That was the main change, but there were some other changes that I wanted to make too. So Roke's the starter. And that makes a lot of sense because, uh, you know, Roke was the one who first suggested uh, that I play Monster Sing. So there we go. Now we have Roke. All right, so I guess we can just rename them at will. Like, we're going to rename this one like into Yaoi because Yaoi was the default name. Thank you. No worries, Roke. No worries. We'll just rename it into Yaoi because that's like the default name. Oh. That's like the default name. Um, and who else? Like, we needed to rename... Yeah. So instead of Alistar, this has to be Gramps Slime. Or, I, I don't know if we have the space for that, but we'll just call him Gramps for the time being. Uh, if we can get it, we can get it. So let's, let's see. 
ramps. Uh, slime. Is up. Oh. Because he has been here in the stream, here and there. Uh, but it makes the most sense, right? It makes the most sense. Okay, cool. We can do it. We can do it. Nice. Okay, grab slime. And then... Um... Let's see... Just use your keyboard? No! I, I am a controller purist. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, JP... We don't have the name for the knight. Yeah, and then we called him Alistar. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, Setsu, since you're here. Wait, no, we already have Setsu. But I don't use this monster. I don't use the Tengu. I feel like we should rename Setsu to somebody else. But then who do I use? Like the top six are the ones that I use, right? Uh, we got Kenjo, Sign Co, Jizaku, JP. I guess... Yeah, I guess we can call... I guess we can call the Crackle Knight Setsu. It's fine? No, it's not fine. It's not fine. I will not rest. I will not rest until we do this properly. There we go. You also had an egg, I thought. I think I... I do have plenty of eggs, actually. I've got quite a few. Oh, the Toxicus might be cool. Um, I've got another Frosty, I've got the Grummy, the Nightwing, so the Bat. Um, that'd be cool. I, I don't know yet. Well, we'll see. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll hatch some of these monsters as well. Right? I'll hatch a couple of these monsters as well. So, the ones that I don't already have. And right, so the Nightwing. Oh, that's cute. The Bat looks kind of cute. Like, I'll leave the name as is for now. And then I'll worry about, like, names after. Right? That's kind of cute too. It's like a seahorse, right? Like it's a toxic seahorse, but I mean, that's cute. That's cute. All right, hold on. So let's see. Let's see what, let's see what skills these guys have. Yeah, yeah, let's see what skills these guys have. Uh, spell shield, spell shield. What does that do? 20% chance to dodge hits. That's pretty good. Cause that's like a, like on average, a hit. Every attack, because like it attacks like four or five hits or whatever. Ah. Ten critical damage. Critical damage also increases non-critical hits by ten percent. What? That's really good. <laughs> That's powerful. What the fuck? Uh evasion. Critical hit chance also increases the chance to dodge. So ten okay. Life steal. Okay. Uh, I mean, sp Spell Shield sounds good, but I don't know how good that is in reality, right? I don't know how good that is in reality. We'll go back to this one. I, I want to take a look at the Toxicus. Oh, this isn't too bad as well, right? Because uh, this is like based on... Ooh, Slime Volley looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Because... <laughs> You do, uh, it's just, it's just like poison, right? Or plague plus slime volley. That looks nice. Uh, bat spell shield upgrades into giving agility two, which is physical evasion plus 20. Ah, okay, okay. That's actually quite good then. It's actually quite good. Why? What? That's powerful. And then this applies sidekick as well, and then apprentice, which this applies apprentice spell shield. Ah. Wait. Increased by another 20%. So that increases by another 20%. What? This thing's powerful. Okay, I, I think I like this one. But then who do I make it? <laughs> who do I make it? Okay, okay, okay. Settle down, Toru. Settle down. Climb volley's good. Upgrading that's good. Uh, plague. Looks like it's really fucking powerful. Uh... Get sidekick, we'll get the supply, we'll get apprentice. Passives like the seahorse also trigger it immediately when he swaps in. Nice. Healing skills. When applying a buff. Also heal the target. I mean, it doesn't heal that much, but like it heals a decent amount. And then you can do stuff like this. Every chance yeah. Uh, and that applies poison as well. 
Um, 1.30, man. I guess that's an issue. Oh, you just get back your mana instantly. Whoa, that's nice. Taking that. Uh, and then I think, yeah, these these two would be probably... Tested. Okay. I, I kind of want to bring him into the group, right? But then who do I take out? Who do I take out for this? I think of... I think of the monsters. Probably Setsu. <laughs> so Setsu gets to live his uh, dream of being a bench warmer after all. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Ah, oh, um, But Sora has raided me a couple of times. So we're going to make Sora the... <laughs> <laughs> the toxic seahorse. I don't know if that's meant to be a compliment or not. Um, but it is a compliment in my eyes. It is a compliment in my eyes. So I hope he takes it that way. I hope he takes it as a compliment. <laughs> so there we go. Sora Shoe. Nice. There we go. Okay. And then, uh, before I forget, we should also like equip. Oh, I have no items. <laughs> I have no items. Oh, fuck. Okay. Never mind. Uh, mana regen, definitely very useful. The medallion is... Uh, like, m mana regen is probably really important for this thing, right? And you have, like, the mana ring to get increased mana. Alright. Alright, I, I think that's alright so far. I think that's alright so far. So, uh, we good. And then we can take what's here. Ancient Woods Key, very nice. Alright. Alright. So let's make a little bit of progress. Let's keep going. I don't know if I'm gonna beat the Goblin King today, but uh, we can, you know, we, we can try our best, right? Let's just get this encounter. Uh, we'll choose our monsters. So, I mean, grass is okay. Like, the thing is, they're all weak to water. So that just makes me really, really want to go with Kenjo, Roxanne, and go. Because, like, these guys are pretty solid synergy. Yeah, because, like, you can use Tidal Wave, and it just... Demolishes everybody. Um, but I guess like, long slash isn't bad either because you can get the blades. I mean, treads pretty good too. I want. I want to see if this crits. I want to see if this crits. Ah, oh, see, see, look at that, like full crit. Gramps, welcome to the stream. How are you today? How are you today? Uh, <laughs> you missed out. You missed out a little bit. Um, just a little bit earlier, we were renaming a lot of our monsters, right? We were renaming a decent amount of our monsters because I felt like I had named them a little bit incorrectly and we were able to name one of them after you. So that's, uh, you know, you know, you love to see it. You love to see it. But welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? This should KO. Oh, wow. It doesn't. They have a decent amount of shield, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Long slash. I don't have enough. I guess we can do that. If it crits, I mean, idle wave should... Auto wave doesn't KO? That's a shame. Alright, whatever. Oh. Okay, the ignite's annoying, but I actually think it doesn't outpace my shield. So, oh, we, we should be fine. Nice. And just go with claws. Just go close. I uh, got my first egg of woods. Was two eggs from one battle. I got lucky. I can choose nice. Nice one, Roku. Which ones? Which ones? Which ones did you get, my friend? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, like, that. that's definitely, uh, definitely something that you want to see, right? Because it's like, a lot of the times, like, because you're doing this uh, partial Nuzlocke run, right? You know, you don't get the choice. You know, you don't get the choice. But uh, seeing as you do get the choice, you know, that, that makes actually a lot of difference. Uh, do I just go for, like, can I even KO this turn? Maybe? Maybe? Mmm... I'm not gonna be able to KO this turn, so I should just, like, do something defensive. Nah, that's, that's fine. And then we can just do this, right? Okay. That should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunate, but that's fine. Um, I can't wait to see my monster and I'm doing good. Oh, it's, it was one of the, uh, one of the monsters that we had towards the start of the playthrough, Grams. But 
It's a, uh, it's a, it's a little cute slime, and I actually want to see. I want to see uh, if it evolves into anything at some point. I, I do want to see the evolution, right? So I have quite a few monsters. A lot of them are named after people. Uh, some of them aren't. Some of them aren't. But um, you know, I'm trying to like name as many people as I can after you know people who are in chat and stuff like that. So you know, fingers crossed, we'll uh, we'll be able to fill up the full roster at some point. Is it like an illusion of choice? So sign and go. No, no, no. No, so in uh in uh in in Rogue's uh, playthrough, right? He's doing like a partial nuzlocke so that he can only take like the first egg that he gets in every map. But because he was able to get two eggs in a single battle, then he actually gets the choice. And that's important because it means that it gives you more options. And so you can pick the monster that has more synergy when you with your existing party members instead of having to, you know, just choose the one that you get. So it's definitely, definitely a big positive. Uh, Molbear and Nightwing. I'm leaning towards Molbear for some tankiness. Nice. Molbear's cool. I like Molbear. I hope to get Molbear at some point. I'm doing good. That's good to hear, Grams. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Hopefully, I'm not sure what time it is for you right now, but hopefully uh, you had a good weekend. You know, you had a wonderful weekend. You know, not, I think I said this before, but you know, not everybody, you know, has like a full week to relax or whatever, but most people do have the weekend. I hope that your weekend was, you know, nice and fruitful, or if not fruitful, then at the very least, uh, nice and relaxing. You know? Energize you for the week ahead. The slime turns even <laughs> into an even bigger slime. Well, that has happened. That has happened. That has uh, happened definitely in, a, in, in, in some animes here and there, you know? You get like the evolved slime, they become bigger, they become more powerful, and they become overpowered if, uh, you know, certain isekai anime are, you know? <laughs> if we go by certain isekai anime. All right. All right. Um... Uh, well, we'll try and get rid of these magma things. Like, ideally, I'd probably have JP here. I'd probably have JP here to get, like, you know, uh, to, to get rid of the debuffs, but... But uh, I'll, I'll take this for now, right? I'll take this for now. And I have to say, just like a little aside, the way that the mud cannon sounds, like the squishiness of it, oh my god, it just gets me every time. It sounds, it sounds so, so bad, you guys. Like, like, you, you, you don't even, you don't even, like, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. Ah, <laughs> it sounds so icky. It's, uh, that's nasty. Oh my god. Alright, I'm, I'm definitely eating a lot of damage in the debuffs, but I think that I am at least doing... Uh, enough damage back that it's like, like I'm still ahead. That makes sense. so we should be able to take it that this turn, and then this uh this monk thing he only does like physical damage, so it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I guess we can still continue casting shield, right, fire claws, uh, and then bubble burst is fine. Yeah, because we we can like proc the weakness and stuff like that. All right, and then now we should just use chill more. Oh, nice! And then we can go with fire claws and hopefully get the KO. Nice, good, 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 good. Hey, we got two eggs there. Nice, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we got a cocoon, I guess. So the cocoon is necessary to evolve the magma pillar, maybe. But we got the druid oak egg. Very nice. Won't take damage if you kill them first, Toru. Well, you know, that that's the conventional wisdom, isn't it, Setsuji? Just, you know, just win, forehead. Just, you know, just kill them. Uh, nice. Very nice, guys. Very nice. All right. So, I don't necessarily want to face off against the Goblin King yet. But I actually, like, I want to get an idea of, like, what I'll be up against, right? So, we're going to try and make our way to, like, the Stronghold. And just see what it looks like. You know? And see what kind of new monsters we can uh, we can uh, spot our eyes on. Oh, okay. Uh, Druid Oaks are really great healers. Okay, so they're like a support class. Good to know, good to know. Careful, keep a novice. Past this point, the goblins have taken over the ancient woods. There must be a new goblin king. Otherwise, the goblins would never work together like this. But it's odd. Why does it happen now? It's almost as if something or someone is behind it. Okay. So we can get one. We don't have the other one. So uh, I guess uh, we'll just we'll just get rid of these guys. 
Let's just get rid of these guys. Why not? Get rid of these guys. Um... And I'm, I want to try Sora. Let's see how Sora fares in combat. Let's go. Let's go. So definitely... Yeah, Apprentice is pretty solid. Then... Fire Claws would definitely do a lot, but we'll do support. Yeah, because, like, dude, they do, like, basic physical damage, and, yeah. <laughs> There's, like, a lot of, like, passive healing going on, so I'm pretty happy with that. Then now we can just start, like, attacking. Wait, let, let, let's see what... Like, they resist a lot of that, which is kind of annoying, but... We actually still, still like, should get poison on them, right? Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Now we can start spamming that shit. That does a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, armor break, which is a little unfortunate, but, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Chill damage. And that, this should KO, right, with some crits? Oh, almost, but the slime volley should. Nice. All right, all right. All right, shield. Fire claws. And probably whirlwind. Like, ah, uh, whirlwind does the most damage, I guess, but slime shot. Okay. So you can only stack one poison so far. Maybe in future, like. With future abilities, you can get multiple. But, uh, th this is fine. The way it is right now. Okay. And it's not a lot. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage. So, it's definitely more of a support unit if that's the case. But, I mean, I don't really mind that too much. Can it KO? No, it can't. It has to spawn. Okay, that's cool. And then we've got Chilling Wind. Fire Claws. And Whirlwind. And then we should take it out next turn. Because, like, even if he uses, like, Acid Rain, it's not going to do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Four stars, which is a little bit better. And we got the egg and a bracelet plus two. Very nice. Very nice. Oh my goodness. And we got a heap of level ups. Heck yes. Very, very uh, productive battle. I do say so myself. I do say so myself. Heroism seems like, you know, it might be all right. Uh, what can I do here though? Oh, weaken's pretty useful. When applying a buff, nah, I don't, I don't like that. Um, I don't mind that. Increase attack and magic by 15. Wait, this is just like a 15% flat buff, right? That's not bad. Like, it's not amazing, amazing, but it's not bad. Um, I do like the idea of weaken, though. Because, like, I could use, like, a lot of... I don't know, but like he has not he has an attack that uses weaken anyway. Probably protect is probably ideal. Just receiving less damage in general is a good thing. Uh, okay, let's see what Rogue can do. Oh yeah, I wanted to chain it with power healing because then like he uses healing wave and then like power healing, you know, it's like additional, right? So, I mean, you know, <laughs> it seems all right. It seems all right. And then with Jazaku, we can just go for heroism. Like, heroism eventually gets, you know, pretty powerful as a buff. So, we need one more key. We need one more key in order to unlock the forest and get ourselves to a point where we can fight off the, um, fight off the goblins. So, Rogue, Sonico, Kanjo. I think this is, like, the... This is a pretty powerful, like, default team. Pretty powerful. I'm happy to have these guys uh, for the time being. And I think what I want to do is, like, focus down on the Magnamoth as much as possible. It's like, he, he really, you know, he's really an annoying bastard. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so rook. I mean, that's fine. Oh, really? Well, I guess we can just long slash and then take it out as part of it. Something like that. Nice! Then shield. Just to be defensive. And did you finish the dungeon plot already? Um, I, I imagine I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I didn't, Jizaku. I, uh, I, I got past the dungeon, but there wasn't any plot to it that I was, I beat. Like, I just, I just, uh, you know, skipped it. Yeah, there, there was, like, a puzzle there, and, uh, unfortunately, it's a little too difficult for my turtle brain, so uh, I just took another path that allowed me to bypass it altogether. That's fine. Really wish I had like more damaging skill. I, I wish I had like a way to debuff. Like, that would actually just be the ideal, just a way to debuff. Ooh, got some chill procs. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, everything's so tanky because I don't do <laughs> I don't do shit for damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so. It'd be fun. Ooh, poison proc. That's pretty handy. That's pretty handy. Alright. I think at this point we should be fine, right? Yeah. I think equipment needs upgrades. Probably does. Probably does. I'll take a look at it later. I'll take a look at it later. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get there. Ah, so close. Unfortunate. That's fine. I'll get like a low combo. That's fine. Oh, uh, maybe I'll be alright. I mean, whatever. <laughs> alright. Ooh, got some levels. That's very good. Let's see what we can do here. Um, okay. Uh, so Kenja, Chilling Wind. Well, actually, an upgrade to Ice Hail would be pretty solid. Yeah. Then for Sign and Co. Claws are... Oh, they're not at max level. I think Fire Claws would be hit. Critical Mass would be nice, but... Then for Sora... We can level up Hurricane? Yeah. Leveling up Hurricane seems... Like... There we go. Alright, nice. Okay, so I think that the other key is probably, like, down here somewhere. So... Uh, it's just a trip down here. Oh, wow, okay. Ah, okay, okay. And then you just get pulverized by these things, right? Ah... Puzzle is this puzzle is probably gonna take hours. Oh, good, good, <laughs> good. Okay. Definitely is gonna take a little bit of a while. Uh, definitely, this puzzle is gonna take like the next four hours, Jazaku. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, let, let, let's see. Let's see. First off. So goal is oh, okay okay red makes sense ah go and goal is to flip the yellow switch that you move past on the bottom left ah okay Oh, okay, okay. At least it doesn't vaporize you. I thought that, like, it insta-vaporizes you. Okay. It, it just acts as, like, a wall. 
That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Wait, bottom left. Oh, okay. So, just need to get rid of the blue. Oh, okay. That's this one then. Right? Then, you just go back here. Flip the blue. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah. There we go. Done. <laughs> there we go, Jizaku. Nice and done. I don't know why... I don't know. That didn't seem that difficult, to be honest. I mean, I know the puzzles aren't really difficult, but, like, I was expecting... I was expecting this to, like, you know, just, like, take me hours or whatever. Or, like, take me a decent amount of time, but that was actually pretty straightforward. Okay, the, the only issue now is, like, getting out, right? So I actually need to undo the green one. In order to do that, I need to go back here. And... Do this one. There we go. Good job. You did it. Yes. Yes, I did. It was, uh... It was a very difficult task. Wait. Actually, wait. No, I didn't, though. <laughs> I didn't, because, like... <laughs> getting out is, like, as much of a problem, right? Getting out is in as much of a problem... Uh, yeah, you could just waypoint out. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I did I did give thought to that. I did give thought to just waypointing out, right? Because like you can go to the sanctuary and then you can come back out. So I did give thought to that, but no. No, I did it properly. I did it properly, guys. Come on, come on. I did it properly for once in my life. I actually did a puzzle in a in a reasonable amount of time, right? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I've already gotten that. So, we have our second key, guys. We have our second key, and now we can unlock the way to the goblins. Alright. So, I just want to, like, give these guys a little bit of a shot, right? I want to give these guys a little bit of a shot, and then I'm probably gonna, like, finish up the, the game portion of the stream. Because... I'm not particularly... Yeah, see? Like, look at them. Level 15, right? I'm not particularly interested in, like, fighting them, per se. I just want to get a grasp of their strength. So that I can go back to the to the sanctuary and then determine, you know, like, what I want to do. You know, in terms of upgrades, in terms of, like, build craft and that kind of thing. So I'm probably going to spend some time off-stream figuring all of that out. Tidal Wave is pretty solid. I mean, it does decent damage, I guess. Yeah, we, we do pretty good damage. Yeah, it does really good damage. What the heck? Right. Oh no, why are they focus firing down Kenji? You didn't deserve this, guys. You didn't deserve this treatment. <laughs> That's fine. Ah, uh, well... Mm. Don't go past this room off stream? Okay, okay. I'll... I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. Nah, nah. I, I don't intend to. Like, I, I intend on just, uh... You know, just, uh... How do I say this? I, I intend on just, like, upgrading my stuff off-stream, but I don't really intend on going ahead and, you know, going too far, right? I don't want to make, like, game progress. I just want to make, like, progress on my group. That makes sense. Ah, good. Yeah, but no, this is actually pretty... <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably gonna, like... It it's probably gonna bite me in the ass saying this, but, like, this seems easier than I thought it would be. Ha ha ha. This seems easier than I thought it would be. Uh, I think, yeah, fine. Yeah, and like, you look at that, and it's like, okay. And stack the chill procs. And hope for a poison or a weakness. Weakness, there we go. Then, it's claws. 
And then we should be able to KO him next turn. Easy. Easy. Yep. Yeah, that sounds... Ah, oh, mod cannon sounds so disgusting, guys. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Tanuki Egg. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. Very cool. Got ourselves a raccoon friend. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to base. Alright. Go back to base. Wait, how far was the, um... Oh, okay, the, the warp stone's not too far. Whoa! Nearly. <laughs> Nearly hit that. I didn't want to hit it, though. Because I don't, I don't want to get into, like, any other encounters. I just want to... I just want to run and leave in peace! Alright, cool. Alright. Ba-boom! Nice. Tanuki is my favorite healer if I don't have Toad. Ah, cool, cool. Ah, awesome, awesome. So, we made it back. We made it back, and I actually did a puzzle in a reasonable amount of time. At least I would say so, guys. I don't know if you guys would say so, but I would I would definitely say that uh, we were able to get that done in a <laughs> reasonable amount of time, if you will. But okay, I'm going to save and quit. You're going to go ahead and uh, finish the game for the time being. Yeah. So, guys everybody going uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream hopefully you guys had a nice stream no, i don't i don't want to i don't want to have streams that you guys don't like oh before i forget yes before i forget we actually did have the uh the redeem so uh, just a little reminder for you guys out there <laughs> uh we have a little bit of a redeem it's it's for ten thousand points now for for ten thousand channel points it was re it was uh it was previously at 2500 but yeah <laughs> in recording this i realized how much work this actually or how much time this actually takes um so i increased the the channel point amount but the idea is that you know uh, if you have like a scene or like a meme or like a skit that you want me to make then you know uh, within reason uh, i will go ahead and make that for the next stream at the end of last stream we had our friend sign and co uh, redeem a, a a meme recording uh, to do with the recitation of like world geography from uh, from Yakko. So it's commonly known as Yakko's world, and it's like this uh, sort of song in uh, Animaniacs. If you guys are familiar with that cartoon, so one of the characters Yakko, because it's like what was it like Yakko, Wacko, and Dot? I think were the three main characters. Um, Yakko has like this sort of big song and dance where he goes over world geography and it's it's pretty amazing um it, it's even more amazing uh because i've i've listened to the voice actor and it's actually a pretty well known voice actor who has done a lot of stuff around that time period uh, but the voice actor sings the whole thing in like one take and he sings it perfectly and it's so impressive to me it blows my mind because i was practicing this for you know the recording and everything and it took me like multiple takes right and so what i ended up doing was like i pieced together like parts of the song and then just spliced it together for the video because i did not have the physical capacity to be able to go through the whole thing in in a single take so the fact that you know the voice actor was able to go through it in one take and has done it for like fan conventions and that sort of thing in a single take is just so impressive and like you know <laughs> every once in a while i sort of uh, get cocky about you know how my voice sounds or like you know my sort of presence in, in how I you know say certain things but it's just a reminder right it's just a reminder when you when you know when you see like an established you know experienced voice actor it's just a real reminder of what a professional looks like and it's so impressive but yeah without further ado and hopefully this works please 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 let this work um oh, oh. <laughs> please let this work but uh, without further ado, this is the point redeem that Sign and Co redeemed last week for Yakko's World. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second.
United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guiana, and still, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua, Bermuda, Bahamas, Tobago, San Juan, Paraguay, Uruguay, Suriname, and Pitch, Guiana, Barbados, and Guam. Norway and Sweden and Iceland and Finland and Germany now in one piece. Switzerland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Turkey and Greece. Poland, Romania, Scotland, Albania, Ireland, Russia, Oman. Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq and Iran. There's Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, both Yemen, Kuwait and Bahrain. The Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium and Portugal, France, England, Denmark and Spain. India, Pakistan, Burma, Afghanistan, Thailand, Nepal, and Bhutan. Cambodia, Malaysia, then Bangladesh, Asia, and China, Korea, Japan. Mongolia, Laos, and Tibet, Indonesia, the Philippines, I once Taiwan. Sri Lanka, New Guinea, Sumatra, New Zealand, then Borneo, and Vietnam. Tunisia, Morocco, Uganda, Angola, Zimbabwe, Djibouti, Botswana. Mozambique, Zambia, Swaziland, Gambia, Guinea, and Uganda. Burundi, Lesotho, and Malawi, Togo, the Spanish Sahara is gone. Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Liberia, Egypt, Benin, and Gabon. Tanzania, Somalia, Kenya, Mali, Sierra Leone, and Algiers. Dahomey, Namibia, Senegal, Libya, Cameroon, Congo, Zaire. Ethiopia, Guinea, Bissau, Madagascar, Rwanda, Mahor, and Cayman. Hong Kong, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Yugoslavia. Great Mauritania, then Transylvania, Monaco, Liechtenstein, Malta, and Palestine, Fiji, Australia, Sudan. Okay, so. <laughs> That was the Redeem. Um, so it's commonly referred to as Yakko's World, and it's a, it's a little bit of a bit. It's a little bit of a bit in the Animaniacs cartoon from like the, the 90s. From like the 90s. And so uh, Sign and Co. redeemed that at the end of last stream. And you can redeem something like that if, you know, if you're so inclined to, to make me uh, <laughs> uh, sing or, I don't know, just do something weird or something funny. Thank you for the parchies, uh, Gramps. Thank you very much. Thanks for the GG, Rogue. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So Sora, it's, uh, it's a little musical bit from the cartoon Animaniacs from like the 90s. And it's commonly referred to as Yakko's World. And you can see, like, it, it, it's like a, yeah, it's like geography stuff, right? Uh, cousin can use this for his geography homework. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, but, yeah, it, it's tied to my, uh, my point, Redeem. Uh, like, record a meme, record a scene, that sort of thing. Uh, because I like to make, you know... I can't do this necessarily every stream, but I think I have a little bit of a streak now. Where I've been able to do it relatively consistently where I can do it most streams, but I like to have some kind of skit, you know, or some kind of, you know, small uh, kind of fun joke uh, or that kind of thing uh, that, you know, perhaps showcases my ability as like an, <laughs> as like an amateur video editor or whatever, you know, so um, that sort of thing. And uh, I hope, I hope you enjoyed it, but I did like, it, it's funny, right? Because that's, that's not even the whole thing. That's not even the whole thing because Sign and Co redeemed specifically the updated version, right? He, he said that he wanted an updated version of Yakko's world. And I looked it up on, on YouTube and I just looked for like Yakko's world, like the latest version. And so it came up with this. And when I was watching this, I was thinking, well, you know, this is the, this is the version that I remember from, from way back when. You know, there, there's nothing different about this. It's, it's not even updated. Like, what was, he, what was he talking about in the first place? And so I have taken a little bit of a look, right? I've taken a little bit of a look, and there actually is an updated version. And the updated version has to do with the voice actor basically ad-libbing <laughs> extra lines onto the song in like a... In like a like a fan appearance or whatever, you know how you have like shows or interviews or like conferences and that kind of thing. And like you interview like the voice actors and everything. So he came up with extra, can you imagine? He came, he came up with extra lines to, you know, to say for this audience. And so that's kind of why I'm in the microphone here. <laughs> that's why I've got the microphone and the, uh, the echo, right? Uh, unfortunately, I can't sync it to the music. Otherwise, I'll, I'll get it super, super wrong. But, uh, but yeah, that's why I've got the microphone because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm going to try it like right now. So uh, apologies in advance if uh, you, you enjoy, if you guys enjoy the function of your eardrums, then 
I would definitely <laughs> recommend that you put the volume just a little bit down. So apologies in advance, but we're going to do this. So uh, now, now I'm embarrassed because now I don't want to do it live. I don't want to do it live. I don't want to sing it live. I should have just recorded something, right? But I did promise Sign and Co for his redeem that I would sing the, redeem, the, the updated version. And because I'm a man of my word, I'm going to humiliate myself and we'll sing the updated version. So he added like extra lines and I'm not going to sing what I've already sung before because I know for a fact that I can't get that done in, in, uh, in one, you know, in one take. But uh, well, we'll try a little bit more, right? Because there's like, there's a lot of extra stuff and it has to do with like, a, a lot of it is like the countries that, um, you know, came to life after the dissolution of the, you know, the USSR. So those are a lot of the countries. So if I can do this without, uh, without breaking your eardrums, I'll consider this a win. But uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if, if I can do this without stuttering, I'll consider this a win. <clears throat> okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Montenegro and Bosnia, Herzegovina, the Soviet Union is gone. South Africa, Georgia, Moldavia, Latvia, Belarus, Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, hey, Kazakhstan, hey, then there's Tajikistan too, hey, Turkmenistan, hey, Kazakhstan, Armenia, Tonga, Palau, Lithuania, Serbia, Kosovo, US, Samoa, the Balkans, Brunei, Macau and Crimea, then Eritrea, Ukraine and Estonia, here's Macedonia, New Caledonia, then Eastern Slavonia, Ivory Coast and Cape Verde, Andorra, the Solomon Islands, Dubai. There we go. There we go. That's as, that's as, uh, that's as raw as you'll get it. There we go. The, the rest of the countries, the rest of the countries, but it's not even all the countries in the world, actually. Like there's so many videos, um, on YouTube talking about like this particular sort of, uh, this particular sort of musical bit, because like, apparently it's missing a lot of countries or like, you know, there, there are a lot of things wrong about it. So, so sorry, you were saying earlier, you know, you can give this to your cousin for his geography homework. May, maybe hold off on that. Maybe hold off on that because it's not every country in the world, but it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's definitely something. It's definitely, it's definitely a thing. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. So, I don't know if Sign and Co is still in here, or maybe he can catch the VOD later. But there you go, Sign and Co. That's uh, that's your redeem, Yakko's World, the updated version. So thank you for that redeem. All right, let me just phase into existence. Okay, so I think that will uh, bring me to the end of the stream today. So thank you guys for coming along. I'm hoping that we can get a little bit more progress for, um, you know. Uh, Monster Sanctuary uh, a little bit later on. I think, I don't know. I think today I'm doing like a little bit better than I was um, than I was on Friday, but like there's still a lot, right? There's still a lot about the game that, uh, that I need to learn and get better at. But, you know, that's that's the whole point, right? That's the whole point. You, you, you slowly get better and then, you know, you reach a point where you actually become good. I'm not yet at that point, but I will get there. That's the main thing. Hope you guys will stick with me uh, with regards to all that. So, what else do I want to talk about? I did want to talk about my schedule. So, um, let's boom. Let's open it up. So, this is my schedule, and as you can see, like we've done Monster Sanctuary today, obviously, but I do have another stream on Wednesday, and I'm hoping that my Wednesday streams and my Friday streams at that time slot are starting to become a little bit more consistent. Uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> oh no, something disconnected. Hopefully not my mic. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, my streams at, at, at these sorts of times are becoming more consistent, let's say. Um, but uh, what I did want to say as well is that Wednesday, like I've put it stream a choice, but the game that I probably will be playing is a game called War Tales. And it's an early access game. It's like an open world RPG strategy kind of game. And I will let you know more about it in detail uh, when we actually come to stream it. Because uh, it's a really cool game so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I mean, again, it's an early access. So there's uh, a lot of rough edges. But I am enjoying it so far. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Um, and obviously Friday. So Friday for me. Friday for me is Christmas Eve. Uh, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I've got work on, on Christmas Eve, and I don't have, like, 
Excuse me. I don't have anything lined up for like a, a, a celebration. I, I'm like, yeah, I've got stuff to do on, on Christmas Day, but Christmas Eve is fairly open for me. And so what I want to do, what I want to do is <laughs> a subject to change, you know. Maybe I'll get a call on like Thursday evening and it's like, oh, actually, no, I got to do this. But subject to change. But plans right now is on Friday, I'm going to do finally, finally, finally do the full GPU-less gaming review stream. So, uh, you know, if you've been watching this stream for a while, you know that there's like a lot of history where I, I talk about it, but I haven't really done a whole lot with it. But I have uh, a system without a GPU. But this time I've got all the data and I just need to compile it together in a way that's presentable. And it will be a full review going over eight different games encompassing a whole bunch of different genres to give people a you know good idea of what it's like to, to use a system without a GPU and what kind of settings are possible, you know. Spoiler alert, it's like you know, 1080p lowest settings, about 30 FPS is, you know, relatively playable on, on a lot of games. But, you know, it's it's something that you know, I'm personally very passionate about, I'm very passionate about like tech projects and that kind of thing. So once this is done, once this is over, like I'm looking like, okay, what can I do next? <laughs> what, what can I do? What kind of tech project can I do next? And I'm not 100% sure um, what that's going to be, but I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, getting this done, you know, in terms of getting the review done, uh, talking it out with all of you guys and moving on to like the next tech project after that. But yeah, Friday, Friday 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time and you have a reference point for like the other times in other time zones um, I will be doing my tech stream uh, with regards to a system without a GPU and what kind of mileage you can get out of that because the graphics card market right now is absolutely garbage so you know if you want to be able to get into PC gaming but you don't have the money for a super expensive like RTX 3080 or whatever then, you know, this stream might be your, you know, your chance, right? You may get a little bit of an idea of what's possible without a graphics card. But with all that said, with all that said, I want to thank you guys for coming so much, really. From Toru to you, thank you so much. And thank you, thank you Sora for the raid. Thank you everybody for coming along from Toru to you. Thank you. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you all around next time. And also, before I go, before I go, we'll be raiding Paper Bag. So please go say hello to Paper Bag. Hope he's currently playing Tabletop Simulator. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he's not about to finish his stream because like he started streaming before I did. So hopefully he's not finishing uh, after. Uh, yeah, but uh, please go say hi to Bag. Thank you guys. Take care. Hope to see you around next time.